Hi garden friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Era and this is Gardening on Purpose. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I garden in zone 7B, newly 8A in the southeastern United States where I do plant related videos. So for today's video, I want to give you uh, a little update. I'll kind of show you the status of the shade garden in on the side of my house. Now you might hear some noise. The side yard is pretty huge. It goes from the actual side of the house coming down to a part of the front of the yard. So you might hear some cars. So apologies for that. But for the video, I kind of wanted to show you what it looks like. I've been working on this shade garden tirelessly since um, late summer and I've been going out and buying a bunch of hostas, a bunch of uh, boxwoods, a bunch of um, stillbees, uh, corobels, um, ajuga. Well, I didn't buy the ajuga, actually. I'll, I'll tell you the story about the ajuga. Um, but yeah, this is what the shade garden on the side of the yard looks like. And as you can see, there's a lot of beerness going on. And that's simply because all this area here were hosta. And they have all gone to sleep and this gives me an idea of what I need to do for next year because of course I don't want this to always look like that between November and April so I'm gonna be waiting on these hostels to come back next year see exactly where they are and then add some more evergreens and by evergreens I mean corbels and ferns now this is the autumn fern and the autumn fern completely really really a great uh, southeast United States uh, evergreen it does not die back in my zone and it looks just like that when it's putting on new growth it's gonna have this autumny coppery orangey color which is a beauty so that's there and then of course I have a bunch of corobels. I have some purple corobels, which are the Dolce Wildberry and I also have the Primo Wild Rose somewhere around here. So as you can see I have a little thing going on where I have the the corobel and the fern and then around here closer to the tree where you see there's really nothing but there is something because these are all where the hostas actually went to sleep. So I'm not worried about to around the tree itself. I'm more concerned about, because I know the hostas are gonna come back. And when the hostas come back, and they're mostly um, stained glass, so they're that yellowy greeny color, that looks beautiful. But then around here, where it's all hostas, I need to change that, because that just looks like a wasteland in December, and I don't want that wasteland look. That's not what I'm going for. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, same thing here where there's a bunch of corbels. I have um, lava lamp. These two are lava lamps. And this one here, I'm thinking is the Primo Wild Rose. And these two green ones here, I don't know what they are because I bought them on clearance at Lowe's and um, I don't have the tag. And I don't think, and I know for sure it's um, proven winners. But again, as I say all the time, when I buy Proven Winner stuff, um, half of them, maybe I mean, maybe 90% of them don't have tags. And they don't have the actual printing on the, 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 the container, so I don't know what it is. So as you can see, I had a bunch of bedazzled hostas right here, and they're pretty much done. But the ones that you see in the circles, let me just back up so you can see some circles. And some circular beds they're fine because I know the hostas are in there sleeping and when they wake up it will all fill in same thing with that one up there and then this one here now these ones here are doing really really well look how huge this autumn fern is really nice and healthy I'm so happy I decided to go with the green and the purple because when the hosta wakes up oh it's, it's such a show it's such a show but so I'm okay with the circular beds, but the internal part of the shade bed, the, the meat of the shade bed is all hostas. And I need to change that because look how it looks. Don't want it to look like that. Um, and then I went and bought some, some uh, stepping stones in Lowe's. So that will get make it easier for me to get through the bed. But um, here's a hosta right here. 
I, I did not cut them back. There's no need for me to cut them back. They will go back on their own and disintegrate and then come back next year. I don't go through that whole process of cutting hostas back. It doesn't really bother me too much the way they look when they're dying back because I know they're dying back. Um, so that's what I'm working on. What you're seeing here is a bunch of um, cardboard that I had, I had put down and then I had put a bunch of mulch. So that's really great for um, prepping the bed before I put more mulch on top of it so that's one of the things i need to work on is adding more plants and plants with color like the purple pops against the green so i definitely want more purple and the red i wouldn't buy anything else green because there's a lot of green when the, when the hostas wake up there's a lot of green so i definitely would not buy more green stuff so i'm looking for really interesting evergreen colors a little further up there's another circular bed that needs a lot of work. I put a lot of mulch down, but it's the winter and these winter weeds are persistent. Look at all these weeds in here that I had to, you know, take out in the spring. These beds here, I actually have a wintergreen boxwood. This is a Korean boxwood that they do really, really well in part sun. Now, let me just back up here. Over here, mainly shade. And then here is part shade, and they've been doing really well. I made a point of spreading some ajuga around, but I think I'm going to move it because I want to put the ajuga in a specific place. And I don't think it looks good to have the ajuga like that. So I think I'm going to move that. But again, I am so tired from gardening, guys. Like, you know, I really push through. Like, we're in the third week of December, and I've been I've been gardening since February early in the year. Because, you know, in 7B, 8A, we have great winters, so I can garden year-round, which is why I'm I'm so tired. Now, the, the normally, I would just come out here and just dig stuff up, but I am so tired. But anyway... Um, so yeah, so that's what those beds are. They need a lot of work, a lot of de-weeding to be done, and I have a bunch of autumn ferns that needs to be planted, so there's just so much work to do. Um, another part of the, um, this is, another part of the side yard is a part sun. So the, the, the side yard is very interesting. It's, it's a mixture of full sun, part sun, part shade. <laughs> and you'll see what I mean. Now, when these oak trees get their leaves, this is all shade, which is down there, all shade. Now that they don't have any leaves, it's part shade. And then the further you go up, like when you're coming up the yard, this is going to be part sun because the trees are not there anymore, but because we're on the west side of the house, it doesn't get as much sun. Um, but my Korean boxwoods do really, I am so impressed with these Korean boxwoods. They are fast growers. When I bought this thing, this is literally three times the size I bought it and it's only been two years. Um, and then as, as you move up a little further, I have my... Um, encore azaleas that are doing really great here. These are the starburst azaleas. They're done for the season. They bloomed spring, summer, and fall. And this is the starburst. I have the starburst. I have the royalty. I have autumn embers. Let me just go up a little further. I have autumn embers right here. Oh, this is bonfire. I'm sorry. This is bonfire. This is lily. I'm sure. Um, embers. Where's my embers? Oh, embers is actually further up in the yard. Um, so a bunch of bonfire and a bunch of autumn lily. So this gets a little bit more sun than the rest of the yard. So if I back up and I'll show you what I mean. When I first come out my side gate, this is what I see. And this is where I get most of the sun. And the further down you go is the less sun you get. Mind you, once the trees begin to leaf out. Um, so one thing I've worked on is to get this side yard because I don't come to the side yard as much. Like when I, when I go to the garden, I'm usually in the front or the back. So I want the side yard to be self-sufficient. I want the side yard to be mainly evergreens so that 
I'll go there when I know I have a task to do. But normally I go to the back here. That's the main garden. But I don't want to abandon the side yard because the side yard is really great. It's kind of in the front and the side. So I need to really, really maintain it. Now, what else is in the side yard are these um, uh, sunshine legustrums. Now, sunshine legustrums are evergreen. But this time of the year, they do shed and they're never completely bare. They will shed their leaves, but in the meantime, they're creating new leaves. So it might look kind of rough right now, but if you come in a little closer, you'll see that it's already um, getting ready to push out the, the, the newer leaves. So that's the one thing that um, you, you, know, you need to know is that even though I love Sunshine Legustrum, but I know that in December, January, and February, they're going to look a little bit skinny, but they will flush right back out and look beautiful. So those are my Sunshine Legustrums, and they are between me and my neighbor. I'm waiting for it to get to my chain link fence height, and it probably has another year before it gets to that. They're already getting kind of close to each other. They're kind of already touching each other, which is perfect. Bought these online at Home Depot for $21 each in a two gallon. And they are literally three or four times the size that I bought them. So I'm really, really happy about those. But as you can see, they're a little thin. They're a little thin, they're a little brown, but that is absolutely normal. Um, yeah, guys, so you can see the shadow of the trees and stuff. Um, but that's just a winter thing. Come spring, this is going to be blazing hot sun right here and right here. And then part sun right here. And then part shade right there. And then full shade all the way down. So um, let me know if you have any ideas about what else to put here. I know I want to buy some lungwort or some pulmonaria. I want to buy some brunera. Um, and I have some astilbes in here. I want to stick with the astilbes because I know they're really, really great. But they are, and I bought them from Beirut. They are slow. And you know, I don't have the patience to wait for plants to show what they can do. And they have not been showing out like the hosta. They have not been showing off like the, the, um, autumn fern. They haven't been showing off like the hooker. And they need to hurry up before I pull them. Um, so let me know what you think, guys. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Please remember to hit the notification bell to be alerted on my new videos. And until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.